Serve hot, just the way you like it. Here's your weekly serving of food, news, and views. Tim Beeman, Stephanie Hess, and Nikki miller Ka are Tart and Tangy Triad. Hey guys, this is Tim from Tart and Tangy Triad reminding everyone to go to the website tartandtangytriad.com, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter. Let's talk about our official sponsor, Washington Park and Provision Company, located at two different locations. One, 228 West Acadia Avenue in Washington Park, where they get their name. And the other here, 401 West 4th Street, downtown Winston-Salem. They have a coffee shop that serves Larry's Beans. They have biscuits in the morning. They have cheese and milk from Homeland Creamery. They have an extensive beer and wine list, a whole wall of coolers for beer and wine, right up my alley. They have an extensive chip selection, potato chips, cheese puffs, so the things that, like that, that just things you don't normally find in a store this size. Uh, they are official sales place for Wolfie's Custard. I believe that uh, John and Jane have actually taken over Wolfie's Custard. I could be wrong, but I'm thinking that's the case. They have a deli with weekday sandwich specials, Monday through Friday. And uh, I usually eat there. I meatball subs on Monday, I know. Tuesday, I'm not sure. Wednesday is chicken curry salad day. Thursday is chicken sandwich and meatloaf sandwich day. And Friday, I believe, is... I don't know. But you know, you could find out. You could go into the day of the week to find out what their daily specials are. You can find them again, WashingtonPerk.com. 228 West Acadia Avenue and 401 West 4th Street, Washington Park and Provision Company. This week, Nikki talks about, mm, Nikki talks about NC Beer Month, and I love NC Beer. Most beers that are made in this state are just fantastic beers, and I recommend all of you try it. But listen to what she has to say about them, and Stephanie talks about what to do with those leftover Easter eggs, because I'm sure a lot of us have those in abundance. So, until next week. My name is Tim saying thanks for watching, thanks for listening, bon appetit. Well, happy Friday everybody. Um, coming up this weekend, April 12th through the 18th is National Egg Salad Week. Um, I think that's kind of related to Easter, although personally I think by now, hopefully you've already made your egg salad and other things from your leftover eggs. But it got me to thinking about eggs, which and if you listen to this week's podcast, you know are Tim's absolute favorite food, so make sure you send him every egg recipe you can find. Um, I went looking to find out a little bit about eggs and about why they're so uh, popular this time of year. What, what, why are they so popular around Easter time? Well, they have their symbolism for Easter, it's true. But you also want to consider the fact that back in the day, uh, the chickens weren't laying for most of the winter, and so it was just around Easter time that they were finally starting to lay again and lay in abundance. So it's time to start thinking of what to do with all these extra eggs. And uh, if you go to an interesting site called theoldfoodie.com, that's theoldfoodie.com, that's where I get a lot of my information. And he actually had some articles last week, a series of egg recipes from nearly every country in the world. Welsh and Indian and, and Polish and uh, Mexican and every kind of egg recipe you can think of. So go check that out. See if you can find something to do with the last of those hard boiled eggs from last week. And we'll see you next week. Bye. Hi everybody. Happy NC Beer Month to you. Did you know that all month long, my blog, Nick Snacks, at nicksnacksonline.com is going to showcase and feature eight different blog posts about the craft beer conversation in Winston-Salem, meaning the best beer conversation in Winston-Salem, to put our city on the map as far as great places to go for craft beer. I've partnered with Visit Winston-Salem Tourism and those foods food. to do demos all across the state of North Carolina using beer. It's going to be so super awesome and cool. Food and beer absolutely go together. Using beer in the food, totally different concept. It's going to be awesome. 
Another thing that's awesome is this Friday, April 10th, 2015, Small Batch Beer Company, located at 241 West 5th Street here in Winston-Salem, they're releasing a brand new beer. Well, technically, it's a really old beer. It's an 18th century style beer that came from a recipe or receipt that was found in Old Salem. The name of the beer is Salem Lot 93, because Lot 93 is exactly where they found the recipe. So you can get a taste of what beer tasted like in Salem in the 1700s. Isn't that awesome? So hopefully I'll see you there on Friday night. And if not, hopefully I'll see you at one of the Lowe's Foods locations where I'm going to be doing food demonstrations. See you then. The views and opinions expressed in this podcast are solely those of the contributors and are not necessarily shared by our distributors or hosting company. This podcast is copyrighted and cannot be reproduced without express written consent of such and such limited ink. Mm-hmm. Yeah, girl. Oh, okay. I can't say that. Happy April. Happy April. Happy April. <laughs>